Well, orders for millions of holiday packages are about to be placed. And that means someone has to pack up those orders to ship them out. Mm -hmm. Or does it? In tonight's Boston Next, how robots made right here in Massachusetts are changing the game. When you get that next package delivered to your doorstep, chances are robots helped get it to you. This is really a new paradigm. This is a game changer. And this is one of the most cutting edge out there. The Locust Robot, designed in Wilmington. The Locust Robot is an autonomous mobile robot. Think of it as a self-driving car that works collaboratively with humans, usually in a warehouse environment. Here's how it works. Someone places an order online, Locust sees that order, uses barcodes to go find it in the warehouse, and then lets a human picker know it's time to load up the cart. She just picks it out of the shelf, scans it, and drops it right into the tote. So one of the first questions you might have when you see all of these robots zooming around is, will they hit the workers? Will they hit someone? But they have kind of an intricate set of lasers and cameras on the front that allow them to see me and then figure out how to get around me. Locusts can then head to several other orders and eventually bring them all back to base to be boxed up and shipped. And when you suddenly deploy 50 of these robots across a warehouse, the productivity gains are dramatic. You don't have to search for an order. You don't have to walk so many miles to get the order. The Locust Bot is doing everything for you except picking it. David Mark Antonio helps run the operations at Quiet Logistics in Devons. Quiet does the shipping for several companies, and they're one of the first companies in the country to rent these Locust robots. We are picking three times more efficient than we were in the manual building. But what about the human cost? These robots, of course, could mean workers losing their jobs. But Mark Antonio says there is a constant labor shortage in the logistics industry, especially in peak shipping seasons like Christmas when they'll ship 60,000 packages in a day. Locust helps fill that need, and Mark Antonio says they also make the job physically easier for the human workers. A normal picker could literally walk 20 miles a day around a 300,000 square foot facility. With the Locust, it's cutting it down to like two miles a day. In fact, Quiet has found the Locust to be so helpful, it's ordering another 50 of them. Pretty wild mm, to be in that amazing. warehouse and see that it's just a sea of robots moving around with no one around them. The next step, by the way, is potentially to put some arms onto the robots so they can actually pick into the bin themselves. We're a long way off from that for a variety of technological reasons. Yeah. Uh, but there is a company in Massachusetts, and a lot of these companies are in Massachusetts, that's working on making those arms. We'll show that story to you next you month. Think some of our coworkers of the future are going to be machines. Get ready. Just not news broadcasters. No, no. Now, to see other stories in our Boston Next series, <laughs> go to cbsboston.com, click on the Boston Next icon. In addition to technology, we've looked at the future of housing, security, transportation, race relations, weather, and politics. You could spend a whole day watching those Boston Next series. Great story. Mm.